support me. They want to see it. They want to see that you do win it okay. before they can help you. That's what I said. They said you need to come to Australia and we are sure that you are here before we can invest in what you're doing. So we got a, a program we call a sponsor a, a sponsor a talent. It's not a chat, but a talent. So let's say as we go to schools, we got kids who are smart, but they don't have money. So we tell our friends overseas that if you can sponsor this child to get the opportunity to become somebody, then in the long run we will talk to the parent so they can let the kid or whoever wants to sponsor the child, they can take the child abroad. But one thing is we follow it up every six months. So when, let's say, they take your kid to overseas, we make sure we go there and visit the child every six months at least. Because normally what happens is other countries, like most people come to Sudan, Somalia, and pick their kids and take them to America. And you think the kids are in America, but rather they take their organs and they kill the kid. And you, as a parent, because you don't have any access to check whether the kid is alive or not, you think your kid is over there. But we, we got the access to come and check if the kid is with you still. So that's calling a sponsor a child. So okay, a child. Uh, we're almost on time. But before you leave the studio, yep. tell someone the reason why, before you leave, the reason why you should join this NGO fan club. All right, um, I was, let me speak to you probably. I didn't tell you a person who joined this NGO is for your own good, for the benefit of your young kid or somebody who you know you want to help. Because we are here to help young people. Our, our aim is, it says, transforming the young people's today for a better tomorrow. Because if we don't have something like that, and I have seen it, I've been in Ghana for a while, and you could, you could tell there's no NGO that is going around motivating young people, telling them to believe in Ghana. Because God did not create us in Ghana for no reason. We are Ghanaians for a purpose, and we are black for a purpose, and we need to be proud of ourselves. We need to be proud of where we come from. Because someone from Australia will tell you, I'm going on holidays in America and they will come back to Australia. There's this favorite song I like about Australia. It says, no matter wherever I go, I still call Australia home. How many people will say, no matter wherever I go, I still call Ghana home? So that is how it is. We don't value where we come from, but we rather value what people overseas has done. And whatever is there, I want us in the future to have it because we live in a land that it's a land of opportunity but we don't see it so i'm praying with this ngo run one day come here with your big studio and we'll be witnessing the benefit of you.